Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is my video tip of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to make retail-ready DVD case covers using a Photoshop template that I created, and I'll show you what I mean. On the screen here is a retail-ready DVD case cover that I used for one of the DVDs that I recently created. I'll show you what that DVD looks like at Kanaki. Kanaki is a DVD duplicator that we use, and they have a nice way that you can rotate the case. This is what the case looks like on the front cover, and we'll rotate it. This is what the back cover looks like. I'll rotate so you can see the spine. And that's the spine. Now I created that using the DVD case template that I created for Photoshop Elements. Now you can get this DVD case template free by going to my site, bmyers.com, and scrolling down the page until you see the featured resources. And you'll see a link that says Creating Retail Ready DVD Case Covers. Now let me show you how to use the case cover. So in Photoshop Elements or Photoshop, you'll open the DVD title template and it'll look like what you see on the screen right here. And if you'll notice in the right hand column under Layers, you notice that there are a number of layers and each one is clearly labeled by what that layer controls. For example, there's the small copyright layer. This is the back cover bullets layer. We scroll up. There's the back cover image 3, there's back cover image 1, and if you highlight any of these layers, you'll see that the, air, the layer becomes selected over in the Photoshop template itself. And the way that the template works is that you can select any element on the template and change it. For example, if you want to change your name, you'll select the text tool, and then highlight your name, and then type in your name. And when you change any elements, Adobe Photoshop is going to alert you the fact that changing your name is going to change the layout, which you probably know, so just click OK. And then type in the new name. You can change images on the screen simply by dragging new images. For example, if we highlight this image, we'll know instantly that this is the front cover image. And if we want to replace it with another image, we can just drag another image right up on top of it. And we'll have to resize that image so that it fits. And that gives us a new image on the screen. Now while you're working on the template, it's real easy to, change, to turn off layers to see the different effects. For example, if you want to turn off a number of layers, you just click the uh, layer visibility icon. You notice that the layers are being turned off. And that's useful because there may be certain elements that you don't want to show in your DVD case cover that's in the template. And if you wanted to change this top background layer, you can change the color by using the paint dropper. Of course, you can undo anything that you see on the screen. If you want to change the background color, you would select the background layer, and then change the background color with either pouring in a paint or using the gradient tool. Anyway, it's that easy to do. You can turn on the different elements to bring them back on the screen so you can see. This is the Photoshop Retail Ready DVD case cover that I created. So you start with a template that looks like this, and you can end up with a case cover that looks like this. Again, you can download this from my site, bmyers.com. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. To find more like this, visit www.bmyers.com.